Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today we're at, I'm at Black Black Gold with my friend Chris, and uh, just gonna play golf. I'm really gonna try to grind out some of the things that we're working on. So. Right. All right, you see where those guys are, Chris? Yeah. Are you gonna aim at them with a little draw? Or a Perfect. Little yeah, play? exactly. Oh. It'll kick left, and you'll be right in the center. Yeah, this hole is downwind, and it's also downhill, so. You really don't need a driver, unless, uh, I guess with a driver, you could almost put it to the front of the green, but there's lots of trouble if you hit it to, you can hit it through the fairway. That's what you wanted. Yeah, that was perfect. All right, so hybrid, uh, a good hybrid shot put me here. Ball just a little above, I kind of ran out of fairway there, hit it straight. And uh, just kept it bounced off the fairway and up into this area. So this is about 135 yards down the hill. So the ball was a little bit above my feet, and um, like you would think from a lie like that, the ball went left. Hey guys, go to fourlinks.com. F O R E L I N X. That's how I'm playing this golf course. It's an amazing way to play really class golf courses in Southern California and also Las Vegas and Arizona for a fraction of what it would normally cost. This is a, it's like a membership to be able to play all these different courses. So uh, really worth it. Check it out and uh, tell Danny, the owner, that you saw that on Be Better Golf. So this is a short par four, like 340 yards, 335 yards. The wind is going right to left here, so but there is trouble left. So you could see I kind of left that open a little bit, protecting from going left, and I'm actually in a pretty good spot right here for what it is off the tee. You can see how above my feet there's not a lot of even lies on this course, which is cool because it really tests your your golf skills and your uh, your just ability to, to create golf shots. So that's about 60 yards. And I landed it right where I wanted to, but when the ball's above your feet, it doesn't it doesn't uh, launch it very high up. So you can see about halfway through that putt, I thought I had hit it pretty good, but it just took off once it got near the hole, and it's really unfortunate because uh, this is uh, still my old putter. This before I went down, I, got, I just got a new putter, and um, it's actually this is the very last round that I played with my my old putter, my old ping answer tee. I still have it. All right, so uh, I'm really trying to get my line correct. If you guys saw that Mike Malaska video, that's what I'm doing here. And I did, I got the line correct, I just didn't hit it nearly hard enough. All right, so that is one over after two holes. This is par four as well. Got the camera up on the golf cart here, so this will be a good opportunity to use the Shot Tracer app. I hit that really well. And at this point, I start hitting my driver unbelievably well this day. Landed it right in the fairway, but it kicked, once it landed, it kicked to the left. You can see it sloped from right to left. Really good driver swing there. So it kicked it to the left and it landed in that spot. Here. It's a weird lie, for sure. I only have about 60 yards or 58 yards or so to the green. You can see, I see I have to choke up on the steel, all the way to the steel here. That was really good. It did go left a little bit, but I made clean contact and I got it pin high. And you can see how far cut to the right. This is like a reverse angle here. The pin was, so missing a little left was good. All right, so I'm really getting set into my routine here. I'm trying to get my eyes to look like the line looks straight to me. And I uh, only left that about an inch short. So still one over. Going on to the third hole. 
Okay, this is a par five. This is downhill and downwind. So I got everything working with me here. So it's really a opportunity on a par five to uncork one here. And after that last drive, I was starting to feel really confident. If you watch my hand path here, you can see how it stays under the plane. There's no over to it. And I absolutely killed this ball. It went really far. Now, some of that is just situational because of the downhill and the downwind, but... All right, uh, par five, I only have 165 in downhill with wind helping. Yeah, so I got 165. You can see my um, Tony Lutzak style flamingo drill that I do basically on almost every shot. This is a nine iron. Great divot, great balance after I hit it too. It's headed right where I want it to. You can see that flag waving away from me. And that's the result. All right, eagle pipe from the fringe. All right, so this is for eagle from the fringe. And I'm just trying to make sure I hit this hard enough because you don't want to leave an eagle right. short. All right, I hit it hard enough, but uh, you can see it was a strange break. It's always difficult to get your mind wrapped around hitting a putt that's going to break away from the front of the green. But that's I did okay there. So that's a birdie. Zipping on to the next hole is a par four, fifth hole. So now I'm back to even par. That was really well. If you see how I fell backwards there, that's kind of something that I that I put into my swing when I with my iron shots, and you'll see here. Sometimes I stand a little. This is for me a little too close to the ball. I need to feel what for me right now with what I'm working on in my swing. I need to feel almost like I'm reaching for the ball a little bit. In my setup, because when I stand too close to it, it makes me feel like I go over it, and I yank it. So, uh, especially on my irons, I'm not, I don't do that on my driver much though anymore. Uh, cool wedge shot, but then I didn't hit a very good chip. So uh, I didn't hit a very good bunker shot. So I had to chip back, and that's for a bogey. So that's pretty nasty. So that's a double bogey, so that moves me to two over par after a per absolutely perfect drive in the center of the fairway. I went one, two in the bunker, three over. Did not get the third one up and down. So that's a six, double bogey six. So moving on, this is a par five. Dog leg to the right. That was really good. Up the left hand side, just a little bit, just barely, I guess you'd call that in the rough. Just barely in the rough. I have like 220 to the to the green. Same thing. I the, the ball is a little below my feet, and I overcompensated for that and uh, stood a little too close to it. So it nearly went into this scrub area so I'm pitching back you can't see it but I'm I'm just doing I'm trying to hit a high shot to this par 5 green you can see there's a little bit of tension and nervousness in my body there trying to pick it off that lie so this is for birdie and you can see like how fast that was about halfway through the shot I still cannot get the speed of these greens off the first one Nice camera angle here. So now I'm trying to get lined up. This will be my par putt. And I missed that one. That's disappointing. So that's three over after six holes. And I haven't really, I haven't really missed a tee shot yet. But I've put myself to three over, which is really disappointing. Speaking of tee shots, here we go. This is a nine iron from just under 150 yards. You can see the wind swirling quite a bit when you look at those, those reeds and things. Hit straight at it, but it came up a little bit short. Stick with me. These holes get really interesting coming up later. So elected to, to putt this and almost made it, but didn't. 
stay at three over par after the seventh hole. Weird thing about this course, it has back-to-back -back par threes, which is a little uncomfortable oh, feeling. Okay. But they're so different that it doesn't really feel too weird. This is 220 yards of par three. Now, if you see, I'm doing the, a lot of these right-hand only flamingo drill feels because I'm just trying to get to the top and feel like I'm absolutely, the way I'm feeling anyway, like I'm just getting to the top and throwing as hard as I could Go. from Go. the top. Beautiful shot, Brennan. And that syncs up everything pretty well for me. I, I hit that right over the flag stick. So uh, I hit that about, I landed that about 220 and rolled out to about 230. Same thing though. I was having a lot of problems judging these downhill putts. So it's a green in regulation from 220 out, but a nasty three putt. And I'm, you know, like I always say on this channel, I'm a good putter too. So a lot of that is just running to the course and and not putting any effort into figuring out what figuring out what the speed of the green is before you go and play. Our good drive over those bunkers perfectly into the fairway. So this is the ninth hole. Same thing, again, the, you can see the ball is below my feet. So it really helps you work on hitting different kinds of lies. Nice shot, pin high. Yeah, nice strike there. I'd like to keep my balance a little bit better. That comes from getting a little when you when I get a little bit too hippy on downswings, then uh, I go to my left side too aggressively, and uh, have to kind of fall back. So I get up too far on that left side, and then I have to fall backwards. This is 185 yard par three, tenth hole. Four, so I shot a four over 40 on the front, and uh, I hit that 185 yard that was into a into the wind. Uh, I think a four iron that I pulled really solid, but I pulled it. And this is for par because my chipping has not been good recently because I've put absolutely no effort into it. And chipping is one of those things that you just have to, there's no shortcuts around it. You just have to go out there and do your chipping practice and keep the feel in your body. All right, really good. You can see that abbreviated follow through there. That's the kind of move that I do to keep it from going left. You can see all that nightmare over there on the left. Perfect drive down down the middle of the fairway. And this is a long hole. I have a lot more hole to go. You can see I stood a little bit too close to it. When I stand a little bit too close to it, my transition, it just it, it just requires way too much hard work in my transition to be oh, absolutely nice perfect chip, when right I stand too close to it. Wow, look at that roll. Yeah, it landed it where Park. I wanted to, but nice. then it took off to the left. And uh, this is to remain five over par, so I'm not really I'm not missing any shots off the tee, but uh, a little bit of problems with my setup is giving me wow, you crushed it. scoring issues. Yeah, I killed this ball. This is really good, especially too on the back nine here. There's um, there is scrub to the left on on a lot of these and then scrub to the right. So there's just a little bit of fairway and then a mess on either side. So you can see I hit that wedge shot fat. That was a setup issue more than anything. Chip to here, so this is to save par. Nice par. Nice, finally I made an up and down. So I remained six over par. It's kind of crazy to say that. It, so I'm basically driving like a tour pro and hitting my second shots like a uh, just typical for me because i overcorrect these down they go a little left like you were saying yeah if you're not used to it they should go right but yeah chris who i, I played with off they, uh, of this it's okay if it goes straight it's okay who it's also is, is a friend of mine and we play center. golf together a lot because he's also on four lanes oh that was well struck is uh filming so this is a part five. That drive, we kind of skipped through that drive quickly, but that drive was awesome. Then I hit this hybrid. This is long part five. I hit that hybrid very nicely, and then I hit that gap. That uh, that wasn't a gap wedge. That was a lob wedge, which I hit pretty poorly actually.
All right, so made a par. Actually, Actually had to me, make, make like a, almost a six okay. footer. I got it, I got it, I got it. Made a par on that par five. All right, stay six over par, and this is uh, this is a very tight. It doesn't look it, but that's a very tight driving hole. Really nicely balanced. You can see the the more comfortable I'm getting with my driver, the more balanced I'm remaining. Good drive. All right, I'm trying not to waste it this time. Seventy one yards. Exactly. So I'm trying not to waste my drive this time. So 71 yards, I just really need to absolutely focus on my setup, and I'll do a little bit better. Landed it where I wanted to, it just didn't roll to the left like I thought it would have. And that's a par. So I stay at six over par. You can see these holes stay pretty tight. There are houses to the right of there. Really, I meant to do a slow motion here about my hand path. Let's do that real quick. All right, just made this slow motion from the tee shot. You can see how high that ball is teed up. Here, there are absolutely no downswing thoughts other than I'm getting to the top of this throwing motion, and I'm using my right arm to throw it. And you can see how the hand path stays actually under the hand path that went on on the backswing. So uh, that's what's able to keep a lot of these shots. That was not nearly my best drive of the day, even though it was absolutely perfect down the middle. Um, I didn't totally crush that, but this is for birdie. No. That wasn't my best drive of the day, but it was a uh, very good example of how a hand path can actually save you a lot of strokes. All right, not getting too technical. I'm just trying to... Uh, all right, so here it actually is one of the best drives of the day. That is a clinic, man. Yeah. Absolute yeah. clinic. Right. So I'm, I'm just really absolutely perfect on all my drives since about the second hole and you can see I was just a little too crowded on these iron shots and then you're seeing the, the results of that oh so that, that that par three I actually um, you can see it's just a perfect drive and now here I am now I'm right, seven over I par drive in about three hours so so at par three, I uh, hit it on the green. I didn't. I did just over the back of the green, got that up and down. But now I'm seven over par because of a perfect drive. Not well, the perfect drive didn't do anything, but really because of such a poor wedge shot. Really great balance there, and that's just going to the top and. There's just no downswing thoughts at all. All right, this, for some reason, this clip didn't record any audio. Um, there's a lot of corrupted, there were a lot of corrupted files off my iPhone with with this round for some reason. I don't know why. It was really annoying. So this is a part five. So uh, again, so that was just like one of the best driving rounds of my life. Uh, crazy to be seven over par at this point. A par will be... 79 and uh, this is hybrid there's water to the right this is a, a kind of a uncomfortable dangerous shot kind of a Zach Johnson finish there but it's headed right at that left bunker that Chris is zooming in at okay so it just hopped just landed just in the bunker and then uh, kind of on the lip pop straight in the air and went to this spot and there's a decent chip finally actually made a uh, had a nice feeling at the bottom like I said guys um, check out four links f o r e l i n x as a way to really save on rounds nice awesome. so that's a 78 for me so kind of disappointing to shoot 78 after uh, driving the ball like that. So basically I took my best driving round ever and shot like a mediocre score. But uh, sometimes you're gonna have it and sometimes you're not. And today really, I just think I just need to work on my, my setup for my iron wedge shots. I'm crowding it just a little bit too much. My posture's a little bit too bent over for how much I'm crowding it. And uh, I think a few adjustments with that and I'll be better. With that, so uh, hey, check out this thing called the Source of Power, and also if you guys are interested, we're going to be doing something 
Very interesting. I'm not going to announce it yet. But uh, there's a, a really big news coming up on the channel. And uh, uh, if you're interested in the news, email me. I'll tell you about it. But uh, I'm not ready to announce it yet. I've been talking to some some people to get it all together. I don't want to get into it yet. But thanks a lot for watching, everybody. And check out this thing called The Source of Power, which is this title card that's up right now. It's a, a, a lot of you guys have it already, but if you don't, things like The Source of Power and Sinking Your Swing, all available at the link below, are things that keep this channel going and uh, give me the ability to go around talking to these different teachers and uh, bring a lot of this golf entertainment and uh, instructional stuff to you guys through all these amazing teachers. All right, talk to you later. Bye.